The Supernova device is a nasal anesthesia mask designed to support ventilation in patients who are sedated with anesthetic medications. The Supernova was designed to create a complete seal and when combined with an oxygen source and pressure relief valve, creates a positive airway pressure allowing a clinician to provide ventilatory support to patients in the supine, lateral, and prone positions. During sedation, patients suffer two major changes that place them at risk for respiratory compromise. Upper airway obstruction, along with central respiratory depression and hypoventilation. In combination, these may lead to hypoxemia, hypercarbia, ischemia, and death. Patients with morbid obesity, obstructive sleep apnea, lung disease, heart disease, and critical illness are at increased risk for these complications, particularly during high-risk procedures such as upper endoscopy, transesophageal echocardiography, and fiber optic bronchoscopy, when direct access to the mouth and airway is limited. The Supernova device's ergonomic TPE seal makes contact with the skin and is designed to prevent air leak among a large demographic population. It remains low profile on the face, allowing for direct physical and visual access to the oral cavity. Lay the head strap on the procedure table where the head will be placed, with the Supernova device to the patient's right. With the head resting over the strap, place the mask over the patient's nose with circuit connection pointing cephalad. After wrapping the Supernova device head strap around the head, loop it into the cleat and secure it to itself using the hook and loop contact points. Tighten the straps bilaterally to ensure there is no leak. Keep in mind that the tighter the mask is secured, the higher the achieved pressure will be and adjustments throughout the procedure may be necessary. Inside the operating room, connect the circuit from the anesthesia machine to the Supernova device using the circuit port. Remembering to have adequate fresh gas flowing and the machine set to spontaneous mode. Initially, high fresh gas flows are necessary to quickly fill the reservoir bag and allow for positive pressure generation. Use the adjustable pressure limiting valve to limit and set the amount of pressure buildup that occurs. Titrate fresh gas flows and the adjustable pressure limiting valve settings as needed to maintain upper airway patency and allow for ventilatory support. With the Supernova device properly sealed on the patient's face and fresh gas flows set at a rate higher than minute ventilation, the reservoir bag will fill and pressurize. Visual inspection of the reservoir bag will reveal intermittent deflation, indicating successful patient inhalation. In addition, the pressure manometer and waveform on the ventilator's monitor will show intermittent decreases in pressure during spontaneous ventilation, another way of monitoring successful inhalation. During exhalation and the expiratory pause phase, the reservoir bag will quickly refill and pressurize. Remember to keep fresh gas flows high to achieve PEEP and ensure positive pressure throughout the entirety of the respiratory cycle. To maintain airway patency, 5 to 10 centimeters of water pressure is adequate for most patients, keeping in mind that some patients may require higher pressures. To provide ventilatory support, the clinician may assist the patient by squeezing the reservoir bag during inhalation. Additionally, the clinician can perform manual rescue ventilations as needed during apnea or hypoventilation by occluding the oral cavity and squeezing the reservoir bag. In some patients, the reservoir bag may not pressurize due to leak from the oral cavity. Manual closure of the mouth or firm submental pressure to the base of the tongue will occlude the oral cavity and allow for effective pressurization and ventilation via the nasal cavity. For many patients, slight flexion of the head is also adequate to occlude the oral cavity and minimize leak from the mouth. These methods are more frequently required during long intraoral procedures, such as upper endoscopy and transesophageal echocardiography, when a bite block is present and fiber optic scope or echo probe is in the esophagus. Firm submental pressure is particularly effective in creating a seal with the tongue around the probe against the hard palate, occluding the oral cavity. When using capnography, keep in mind that these techniques are also useful when end tidal carbon dioxide monitoring is lost due to patient exhalation from the mouth. During procedures where you expect an excessive leak from the mouth, such as awake fiber optic bronchoscopy, rigid bronchoscopy, and laryngoscopy, attach a second source of oxygen to the supplemental oxygen port using any standard oxygen tubing.
The additional 10 to 15 liters per minute supplied from an auxiliary source helps to overcome the mouth leak and in combination with the flow from the circuit, delivers pressurized high flows of oxygen through the nasopharynx directed towards the glottis. In remote locations where anesthesia machines are absent, the supernova device is effective with the use of a hyperinflation bag and supplemental oxygen source. Similar to the anesthesia machine, a pressure relief valve present on the hyperinflation bag is used to titrate pressure buildup within the mask and intermittent deflation of the reservoir bag is visualized to confirm successful patient inhalation. Additional ventilatory support and manual ventilations are also achieved by squeezing the reservoir bag in the same manner. The supernova device used in this manner can also be used during patient transport and recovery for patients at risk for respiratory compromise post-operatively due to surgical conditions, patient characteristics, or residual anesthetic medications. Supernova, the new standard in airway management. Share the airway.